This website cost me less than $100 to build. It's got a DR of just zero, and we're only seeing 79 backlinks from just 21 referring domains. And yet, if I scroll over here, we can see it's getting a traffic value of $3,400 per month. In today's video, I'm going to show you two examples of one-page websites ranking in the top three in extremely valuable niches. Then just to recap on what exactly are one-page websites and how can you build them? Then the popular questions, are exact match domains broken in 2025? Then how one-page websites can make thousands per month? But then even if your one-page website isn't as successful as you hoped it might be, then how you can use your one-page website as a proof of concept to get loyal clients who could pay you more than $10,000 per month. Now, this is one of the case study sites I built in order to record my one-page websites course. Now, this is a process I've been working on for about 18 months or so, where I basically realized that given a lot of the volatility we've seen with Google updates, you really want to minimize the time and the cost to actually rank and to spread that risk across more websites. So how can you build an extremely valuable targeted website without investing a lot into it. Well, of course, we go into great detail in the One Page Websites course. We keep updating it, so there's now more than four hours of content in there. So click the link below and sign up to be notified when we bring it back, because it's been very popular, students are getting great results, so it is absolutely coming back soon. But fundamentally, TLDR, first you need an exact match domain. That's basically where you have the keyword you are targeting as the actual domain name because Google is all about relevance and you can't get more relevant than the business that's named after the keyword you're looking to rank. Now, those of people on SEO Twitter will tell you that exact match domains haven't worked for 10 years. These are people who haven't actually looked at a Google result. One of my favorite examples of that that I like to check in on, it's not my website, but someone's got lawfirmseo.expert ranking extremely well for law firm SEO traffic value of $4,200 per month. So don't believe the hype there. Find an exact match domain. In the course, I teach you a method where I'm able to scrape hundreds of keywords to work out which of the .coms are actually available. Then we use an AI system to literally build a website in about five minutes. So it's got a really nice layout. It looks like a proper business and a proper website. But then we go a step further using ChatGPT and preferably a correlational tool like Surfer. We can extract all the relevant entities we need to include, prime that into ChatGPT, and therefore produce an optimized homepage. And from there, it's simply a case of foundation links. Now I saw a post on the Facebook group the other day saying that directories don't work anymore. And this is absolutely wrong. Even though it might seem a bit dubious that you can just buy hundreds of directory links, is that really going to change your rankings? Well, actually, as foundation links, it works really well. Because of course, a new business will go out and get these directory listings. And they really help your brand trust and authority because it basically says who you are, where you do it, and your contact details associated with that. So you've got all these levels of verification pointing at you that this is a real business that deserves to rank. And after that, we just do a press release. If you're only buying one, that can cost 50 to $100. But if you're building a large number of sites at once, then you get volume pricing. And so by spending, I think it's two or $300 with this provider, I'm able to get press releases for $7 each because I get about 30 press releases for that single payment. Now, a lot of the time, that's really all you need to rank. I've got web websites in the home extensions niche where they've not taken any more than that to actually rank and start getting traffic. But if you do want to take it further, then within the one page website system, I talk about traditional guest posting, but also other ways you can use to get super cheap, powerful backlinks into your website. Now they're not necessarily the best quality in the world, but again, this is all about spreading risk. So if you've got your five to 10 websites, each one hasn't taken you much time or much money to build, and you've done basic foundation links, citations, and a press release, you can then mix in a few other links for a bit more power, even if they're not the best quality, most relevant links in the world. You can use tools like the Vispa Backlink Exchange, where by installing the plugin, you can then get around 50 to 100 backlinks all pointing at your website, simply by joining their network to exchange backlinks with other relevant websites. Now, are any of these things going to move the needle massively, like spending thousands a month on guest posting? Of course not, but for the price you're actually paying, each of those things gives you a lot of power and a lot of trust and authority. Now here's my first website using this technique and how it's doing. So it's quite old now, it's the middle of 2023, so just before the helpful content update, and then it was in the middle of 2024 that the traffic really took off. So what was it? Exact match domain, simple homepage of optimized content, and then just basic foundation links until we were getting decent revenue, and then we were able to invest. So you can see it's now got a domain rating of 19. It's got quite a lot of backlinks. Still not a huge amount considering this is the highly competitive insurance sector. And you can, you can see it had a bit of a pullback around the 19th of December update. We'll talk more about that later on in this video. 
but you can see in the last few days it's rocketed back up again. So this gives you a really good picture of how a small website can perform over time without a whole lot of investment, without a whole lot of work. Now there isn't really any affiliate dashboard I can show you for the income from this project because I just get paid in by bank transfer because it's the old school insurance niche. But now as I've uploaded all those bank transfers to Claude, you can get an idea of what that actually looks like. Now the crucial thing to bear in mind about this project is it's a specialist insurance product where the average retention is around seven to eight years. And that's according to the actual broker. Now this broker will pay me 50% of the first year's premium or rather their commission on that premium. And then for every year that the client renews, I then get 25% of the broker's cut. So what I've done here using Claude is I've got the actual monthly revenue. So January, 2025, $550. That might not seem like a whole lot. And you're right until we factor in lifetime value because that $550 of business I've earned is going to keep on getting paid into my account for the next seven years. So that was my first year's commission, which was 50%. And then for the remaining years, I get 25. So it's for that reason I had Claude extend this out, work out not just the monthly revenue, but the lifetime value of that referred business. And that's more like $800 a month, $2,000 a month, and then $2,300 in January. And the great thing about this is it's inflation linked. So as those insurance premiums go up and up in price, I continue to get my cut. So it's a really nice inflation hedge and I own those customers, or at least that attribution, those referrals. So in five years time, if this website totally blows up, I still have that book of business that's paying me every month. But this is just one example. So I just wanted to update you. Small site continuing to grow over time and certainly seems to be climbing in 2025. So not a big earner by any means, but what does it cost me to actually maintain that? Very little. And it looks like I'm getting around $2,000 a month in customer lifetime value from that. And then in the run up to the course and in the recording of the course, I times that by 100 with a huge number of case study sites. And for the actual course recording, I thought, let's go into the most valuable niche out there and into the law firm niche. Now, Ahrefs recently released some research on what are the most expensive Google ads keywords out there. Because with SEO, you've really got to stack the decks in your favor because SEO is quite expensive and it takes the same resources to sell an expensive product as a cheap product. So one of the biggest mistakes I always see, whether it's agency clients, course buyers, members of my mastermind, it's basically not thinking big enough. You need to go for the highest ticket services you can think of. And in all these reports for the highest pay-per-click spend, it's law firms, specifically accident and injury law that continues to come up top. So that is exactly what I did here. This is a site I built during the course recording. Now I mentioned about the December Google update, I had a bit of a drop on the 19th of December. Now, loads of people have been reaching out to me saying that they heard that 19th of December was basically end of exact match domains and that this method wasn't going to still work. And the answer, as you can see, is absolutely yes. There was definitely some pullback on the 19th of December across my portfolio, but it's too simplistic to say it was purely based on exact match domains or one page websites or anything like that. And what we typically find when there is a bad Google update quite often we witness a bit of a reversal over the next few weeks. And that tends to be what I'm seeing. So you'll notice that with my first insurance case study, we had the drop on the 19th of December and that's now come up again. With this law firm website, same thing. We had the drop towards the end of December, but then towards the middle of January, suddenly this is taking off really well. So we've got one keyword in the one to three and we've got eight keywords in the 11 to 20. So already this is generating traffic were $3,400 per month. Now, what do those keywords actually look like? Well, here they are. So number three for a volume of 400 a month, CPC of $46. And you can see down here, every one of these is attorney, attorneys, lawyers. One of the biggest mistakes I see with people who think they know SEO and they're capable of ranking pages, is just targeting the wrong thing. You want high commercial transactional intent. There's really not much point in ranking a blog about 10 things you should know about hiring a lawyer. You want to go after the the people who are ready to buy, they've got a problem, they put it in the search bar and they click on one of the top results. And then they inquire, they sign up. So for these, all decent volume, 300, 150. And then down here, we've got position three, 15, 19, 19, 18. So page one and page two. And as we know, these will continue to improve over time because the age of the domain, the age of the content, these are big ranking factors for Google. And let's not forget, if you're ranking Google, it's very likely you're gonna end up ranking in perplexity, ChatGPT and all the future AI search engines. But of course that traffic is only valuable to us if we can actually monetize it. So what is a legal lead actually worth? Well, in the personal injury and auto accidents niche, 
$300 to $1,500 per lead. So if we assume this traffic number is correct, that we're getting 90 visitors per month, then let's assume that only nine of those, 10% of those are actually qualified. And if we take the very lowest payout of $300, so nine qualified leads, $300, so that then becomes $2,700 per month. But let's be a bit more realistic. If someone is searching for this particular accident lawyer niche in this location, then I think the 20% conversion rate is probably more likely. And let's now go somewhere in the middle. So let's say we get $900 per lead. So let's instead do 20 times 900, then that's $18,000 per month. Now at this stage, this is all speculation until I actually get the phone number on there. Now that the traffic has come up again nicely, nothing inserted until I've done that and been approved by those paper call networks. But you can see very minimal investment of just a couple hundred dollars to actually build the site. And I've now got the opportunity to make somewhere between $2,000 and $20,000 per month. So it won't work every time, but even if you're right, just one in five times or one in 10 times, that is a really good return. And what's more, I keep saying to people, if you are looking to build an income online, if you are just looking to quit your day job or just make a more comfortable living, I still really recommend getting clients because if you've got the skills to do this, then you've got a lot of value to add to business owners. So even though this is great and could in theory head towards the kind of passive income type environment, Generally, my recommendation is actually do some work, make more money and have an easier life. Because if you can do this once for yourself, then if you can get just five clients at $3,000 per month, you've got a really sustainable business there, $15,000 per month. But one of the biggest struggles of new agencies is simply a lack of case studies. So already I'm getting feedback from my one-page website course buyers that not only have they ranked sites this way, but as they've been reaching out to people in the industry offering to sell them these leads, they are getting more business because of that. Now these business owners are being spammed all day by SEO agencies, link builders, saying we'll guarantee you page one rankings, all those standard sales pitches, and they've just had enough. They're completely blind to all of that. But as soon as one of my students is coming along saying, I have got this site in your niche, I only built it a month ago, and it's already getting traffic, would you like the leads? Then that immediately reverses the whole conversation. That immediately becomes, that's amazing this is my business and yet my website doesn't rank for any of that. Can you do the same thing for my business? So a couple of really clear benefits there of the one page websites method, because if you can build your own asset that you can rank and monetize and potentially deliver a decent level of passive income, all whilst aiming to invest the bare minimum to actually get it going. Plus it's a fantastic internship. Spending a couple of hundred dollars to build a website like this is far cheaper than going to university. And yet the skills you'll get for it are far more valuable in the vast majority of circumstances. By ranking a website like this, especially in the law firm niche, it's an absolute masterclass in local SEO. And the only way you're going to get there is by doing it yourself and practicing. But then finally, what you have is the ultimate lead magnet to actually land some clients. Because even if you've got that so-called passive income coming in from your website, there's still a level of vulnerability there. Think of all the people who got hit by the helpful content update, who had profitable blogs that were generating thousands of dollars per month, and then suddenly, they disappeared, didn't work anymore. Whereas if you've got a couple of clients, you've got true business relationships. And what you find is that working with a client site, because they've got all that history, all of that brand, they are far less susceptible to Google updates. And the work you do tends to respond much better on a client website than your own website, because there's all that proof that you just can't possibly recreate so quickly. And then after that, once you've got that trusting relationship with your clients, then you've got a really good hedge against all these technological changes that are coming whether it's AI or anything else, those business relationships will really serve you down the line because it might start off with building the website. That then might lead to SEO, Facebook ads, Google ads as well. A lot of agency owners I know go as far as even getting equity in those bricks and mortar businesses, but it all starts with getting those conversations going. So I encourage you, build a project, build a one-page website, reach out to business owners to sell them the leads, form relationships with those business owners, having paid your entry into that realm by showing what you're capable of. And from there, who knows what the possibility might be.